Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can fill the form of GATE 2022 exam effectively and what are the mistakes which you have to avoid so that your form filling experience should be like seamless and uh, like the form filling should be successful, right? So I'll show you from the starting itself. This is the website uh, of GATE 2022. In case if you are not aware about it, GATE 2022 forms are uh, now available. You have to fill the form now and uh, make sure that you fill the form before the last date comes right so do check out the website don't wait for the last date to, for that and do fill the form as soon as possible all right so i'll give you the link to reach out to this particular official page uh, in the description of this video you can come directly over here now here there are a lot of different things like uh, information is there old question papers are there a lot of things are there what you have to do you have to go to this apply online because all the pre all the other things i have already covered in the previous video so in case if you have not watched that I'll give the link for that. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll pin that in the i button so you can watch that particular video as well. Okay, so you are ready with the form filling. So see, a candidate appearing in one or two papers should fill only one application form. Okay, so you have to just fill one application form. In case if you are willing to apply for more than two papers, means if you are a chemistry student want to apply for life sciences also, in that case, in the same form only there is option to do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's the process I'll tell you later on. So first you have to go for this apply online. Uh, now here uh, the important instruction um, uh, a dialog box will come. It says that the applicant is requested to update the Aadhaar card or any other permissible photo identity proof if it is not recent to be used for the applying and appearing for the gate 2022. So that means your Aadhaar card should be updated one means that should not have any other any you know the the mistake should not be there in your name, spelling or any other thing. So, and the second thing is that scan and upload the color copy of the photo identity proof. So you need a color photo of your uh, color copy of your photo identity proof. All right. So whatever photo identity proof you are applying, you need to put a color copy of that. Okay. So don't worry about it. This is just a general in instruction just to make sure that uh, your sometimes it happens that the name which you are filling and the photo identity proof which you are filling the names are different in that or the spelling is different in that so make sure that does not happen that's why this particular instruction is there okay now here it says that uh, enrollment id password and these are the things to log in but in case as i am new to this i have not enrolled into it so i'll go to this new user register here so click on it and now the option to fill your full name, middle name, surname and uh, you have to confirm that. So let me quickly fill it. All right. So once I confirm, it says again, it says that is it your full name. So I will continue and then it asks for my email address. You have to confirm your email address. You have to put your phone number, confirm your phone number, put a password over here, confirm the password again, fill this CAPTCHA code over here and then submit. So this is simple okay then you will be registered so let me do this quickly and tell i'll tell you what to do next all right so once you fill that and once you press that submit button it will say that thank you for registering to gate 2022 sms and email containing your enrollment id have been sent to you you need to remember this id for all the gate 2022 related communication slash website operation now you don't have to remember exactly okay you just have to remember your email id which you have given and the password which you have given those two things are enough to do now the same email id uh, you have to put here or in case if you want to go through the enrollment id that also you can do so enrollment id will be provided to you via email and via sms so in both the ways it will be provided to you but i will suggest you to go with the email address whatever email address you have put uh, you have just uh, registered put that email address here put the password uh, fill this captcha code and then submit again to fill the form further all right so i'll show you what to do next all right so once you log in for the first time it will say that before starting for gate 2022 application please ensure that you have gone through the gate 2022 information brochure and have all the documents slash data required for filling the form uh, the documents which are required are your uh, like aadhar card means your address id proof and your photo id proofs and signature so these are some of the uh, like documents which are required so in case if you have that uh, and you are ready to fill it so just uh, click on this agree sign I agree I hereby declare that I have read all the information brochure and I'm ready to fill the form and then click here that start filling gate 2022 application form now here are one two three four five options or you can say five sections of this form in the first first section you have to apply for the exam details means which uh, center you want to apply for what is the subject you, you are actually appearing for 
so this is the first page itself in case you are applying for a single subject you have to select over here as the subject okay so i'll go for chemistry let's say it says that the subject is marked as chemistry continue and then they are asking for the choice of examination center so you have to choose any three centers depending upon whichever is near to your place in case if you want to apply for two subjects the, then again you can select the second so see the second subject is only life sciences so with chemistry only life sciences is allowed so they have done these things and, and engineering sciences is also allowed so these two subjects are actually allowed along with chemistry so they have sorted the things out so that people don't uh, fill with some mismatching uh, combinations so with chemistry these two are eligible in the same way with any one subject whatever the next subject will be eligible will be available over here now it's not necessary to fill both the forms it's up to you like if you are interested to fill form for two subjects in that case you can go for it but uh, if, like that's not necessary okay that's only for those enthusiasts who want to fill it otherwise you can just simply go for one subject and just fill over here just click over here and then select your city and then save for the next part to fill all right so i'll quickly do and let you know all right now it, this is the next section for for filling out your personal details so your enrollment id your name and your email address and mobile number these data would have been already applied over here or already filled over here from the registration page rest of the things you have to fill one more thing that after filling every page you have to uh, like you can save the data so that you don't don't lose that out uh, whenever you will save it after logging in you will be like all the data will be saved over there okay so i'll suggest that do that again and again after filling one page save the data and then go for the next thing so all the basic things are asked over here like your uh, like uh, your gender your nationality your category then uh, all these like whether you belong to a pwd candidate then the country of residence your address and uh, then your mobile number for of your parent and the country to which you belong so this is the personal detail page which is they are asking for so i'll quickly fill it and let you know what to fill in the next page all right once you are done with this personal detail once you have filled the personal detail now you have to fill the address of for correspondence uh, here you have to fill your present address it may be same with your permanent address but again you have to fill that you have to fill the pin code you have to fill the country all these detail you have to fill it's a very easy thing i know or most of you know about it so just i'll do it quickly and let you know what to do next all right now once you are done with your exam details personal detail and address of correspondence now this is the last uh, thing which you have to fill before uploading the documents is your uh, college pin code means all your qualifying detail uh, qualifying degree detail now here you have to be very careful in case if you are in masters okay in case we are in your masters first year second year or you have just taken admission in masters you have to fill all the details of your uh, bachelor's degree and your masters also like whatever you are doing right now okay so see the college pin code you have to apply the pin code of the area in which your college is your college uh, country of the college then state in which it belongs uh, like city or town in which it belongs the college registration slash roll number now this you will find out on your uh, like this thing you will find out on your id card okay so your registration number or your uh, roll number anything can work okay so please feel that you have uh, please ensure that you have filled registration number slash roll number as per your institute college id and not gate 2022 enrollment id so make sure you are not filling the enrollment id of the gate exam but you are filling the registration number which is provided by your college so in case if you are in masters you will be provided with id card or you will be provided with a registration uh, card so you have to apply that particular number over here also i know that uh, bachelor students are also eligible to fill it those who are in final year of their bsc so you have to fill the bsc id card whatever you you are studying right now uh, that particular id card in case if your msc pass out in that case you can fill the details of your msc right so because the qualifying degree is msc so you have to fill all the details regarding msc only okay and in case if you have not taken admission in msc and you have passed out bsc that also makes you eligible for this particular exam and in that case also uh, you have to fill all the details of your bsc all right so i hope i made the things clear to you qualifying degree now here you will see here you have both the options see bsc is also there and msc is also there so bachelor's degrees are also there and your master's degrees are also there so you have to choose whatever degree you have qualified okay so just choose that particular degree msc integrated bsms all these degrees are there so you will find out your degree over here 
discipline in which you have qualified so you have to select the subject over here that in which subject you have qualified that degree and then have you graduated in the above degree yes or no so if you will say no then they will ask you that in which year you will get so the upcoming years will be there so this is no will be for those who are currently in their masters who have not qualified masters they are pursuing the degree they have not completed the qualifying degree okay uh, same goes for bsc also but if you do yes they will ask you that which year you have qualified then you will get all the previous years so in that case like you have already qualified so you have to give the name of that year in which you have qualified it name of the university college name and then you have to go next so this is all about your uh, qualifying degree details this page has to be filled very carefully okay so make sure that you are filling this page very carefully i'll do it quickly and let you know what to do next all right now this is the last stage of uh, filling form the last page which you have to do uh, you have to upload your color photograph you have to upload your signature and you have to upload your photo id now this is the trickiest one okay they have said that upload jpg png file they have this like they have disclosed everything that what should be the pixel uh, you know pixel values and what should be the width what should be height all right so once you are done with uploading photograph and signature make sure that the pixel which they have uh, like defined that this should be the ratio of the pixels and the image should be resized in that in case if your image is not resized just upload the image and in that panel only you will have the option to crop it and to resize it according to it okay so try with that and once that uh, like once after cropping the image comes in that uh, like complete ratio or that particular acceptable ratio there will be a green tick which will tell that yes your image is ready to be uploaded okay so try that uh, try to upload it image uh, upload your image and if you will make it according to this resolution using any of the software uh, any basic software or any online mode uh, to compress or resize your image that will be much better and that will be much appreciated okay and then you have to upload your photo id photo id has to be uploaded in the form of pdf file uh, your pdf file should be in between of 10 kb to 600 kb just make sure uh, that you have made a pdf of your uh, whatever photo id you have uh, suggested in the starting of the form filling that you have to upload over here okay so i'll just quickly do this all right so i have filled all the details this says that where did you first come to know about gate 2022 i'll just suggest that internet search and then you can just save everything over here so everything has been saved by far now now i have to review and submit you can save and view the application before submitting uh, I'm not going to view it, but I will highly recommend you to view your application before submitting. Okay. Now uh, review and submit. Once you do this, uh, they will ask to do a declaration. Just click over here that you confirm that whatever details you have filled, you have checked and everything is correct. Uh, your name you have to fill over here. E-signature means you just have to put your name. So just put your name over here and that's it. You can submit and proceed for the payment. Click over here. So it says please verify application form by clicking verify application form button before submit all right so you have to verify application form over here okay so click over here to verify it i can just save my document and then it says that submit and proceed okay so it says uh, otp uh, is sent to your registered email and mobile number to conf confirm for the submission check out your email and mobile number anywhere like if on any of the two places you will get a email sorry you will get a otp which will suggest that yes you are ready to make the submission so just fill that particular uh, otp i'll just quickly do this and uh, and i'm ready to go i'll just do okay and now they will just show me that how much i have to pay what are the modes in which i can pay and uh, that will change okay this amount fees amount will depend upon the category to which you belong uh, whether you are female candidate or male candidate depending upon that fees is different and then you can all the charges are there that which by which way you can pay and how much charge you have to pay for that so i will do my payment process so once you will make your payment everything will be completed everything from your side will be done then you will see uh, uh, like you know a screen like this which says that online application form fee payment is received successfully now there will be three uh, four status which they have said uh, three four points which they have said they say that your up uploaded documents are under verification the scrutiny process will continue even after the application portal is closed you have to wait for that they will send you a mail if they will find any problem with your application form 
in case if they don't find any problem then also they will send a mail that your form has been successfully updated so only those candidate whose application need to be recruited or rectified in photo signature supporting docu document will be contacted by email and sms others will be like considered as successfully submitted please visit gate 2022 site regularly for updates and please visit uh, payment query page uh, for issues related to payment so if in case if you have any re issues related to payment you have to reach out to this particular uh, email id all right and uh, that's it that's it for this particular uh, form filling process i hope the whole video is much clear to you you guys understood how to fill the form and how to make the payment everything is clear don't make these silly mistakes while filling the form that's it from my side guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys so i teach for csi rujisenet category on unacademy platform uh, over there i take free classes as well as paid classes you can reach out to my profile using the link given in the description of the video you will find various free courses also there are some paid courses the paid courses are highly organized they are regular and they are on the daily basis so in case if you are interested and you want to join my paid classes for that you have to take an academy plus subscription uh, you can do that by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's my uh, that's my referral code if you use that referral code you will get 10 percent discount on the subscription also you'll get access to join my whatsapp group along with other plus so do check out my profile and access all the free classes take the benefit of them so that's it from